Hello everybody and welcome to Bull Technology. On January 20th, 2022, this channel passed the 100 subscriber mark. While this channel is definitely still pretty small, I am incredibly proud to have achieved this milestone and I'm incredibly thankful for all of those who have watched and liked my videos and even more thankful for those who have decided to subscribe to my channel. So to celebrate 100 subscribers, I thought I'd give you a brief tour of my current computer collection. We'll first start in my computer room. Um, I mainly use this room to film my videos, work on computer projects, and I also do some amateur artwork. In the far corner of the room, I have this white shelving unit that has a variety of electronic items on it, uh, mainly the boxes to all of my computer parts. Uh, but in this one square here, I have some junk laptops that I'd like to talk about. This is where I keep laptops that I'm not currently using, or these are laptops that have some current issues. Uh, some things of note here are my Apple PowerBook G3, which doesn't work. Um, I also have a Toshiba Satellite C55D laptop. Uh, this was a family member's computer, and it currently doesn't have any RAM or a working hard drive. Right above this Toshiba is the HP Elite Book that I have. Um, it's an excellent little performing workstation. It currently has an Intel Core i7 fourth generation. It works, but I really don't have a use for it anymore, and that's the reason why it's on this shelf. Uh, I also used to have a ton of older MacBooks, like a 2009 uh, white polycarbonate MacBook and a 2010 MacBook Air. Uh, but I've decided to sell those units because I really don't have a use for them anymore and they were worth quite a bit on the used market. Moving on to my small desk space in this room and I have a monitor to the left here that is connected to my Mac Pro so I will discuss that a bit later. Uh, but on the right is my 2007 iMac that was featured in a recent video. It's a great little media PC that I use to play most of my iTunes music library. Moving on to the floor here along the wall, I have a variety of computers here. Uh, on the far left, this is the Mac Pro that is hooked up to the monitor that you saw on my desk. Uh, this Mac Pro was also in a recent video on my channel, uh, and I mainly use this for thumbnail editing as it is the only computer that runs Adobe CS3, which is my main photo editor. Uh, this PC case here right next to the Mac Pro is currently empty, but it used to house my Core i7-3930K based gaming computer. I also have another Mac Pro system here, although this is mainly used for parts right now. Um, and next to the Mac Pro is a much older Power Mac G5. This is actually a quad-core G5 model, and it was the last PowerPC Mac that Apple made which means it's pretty much useless today. Next to the Power Mac is a pretty old Dell Dimension with a Pentium 4. Uh, this was also an old family computer that I have. Um, I mainly use this to play older Windows XP games. The last item in this row here is my 2009 27-inch iMac. Um, it's the 2.8 gigahertz Core i7 model and it's still a pretty usable computer today. A pretty common thing here is that most of my machines are definitely old Apple machines. Um, I really appreciate Apple's design language and so I tend to collect a lot of older Apple computers. On top of all of these towers on the floor here I have a variety of pretty cheap LCD monitors and televisions. Over on this long desk here on the other side of the room is where I record most of my videos for this channel. And I currently have this old IBM ThinkPad on it which was featured in the introduction to this video. Over here I have something that I'm currently in the process of selling. Uh, it's my 2014 15-inch MacBook Pro. It's still very capable, but I have no use for it anymore now that I have my M1 MacBook Air. I also have a collection of handsets in this room. I have an original iPod, an iPhone 4S, an iPhone 8, and the phone that I'm currently recording this video on is my iPhone 13 mini. There's also my M1 MacBook Air, which was featured in a recent video, uh, but that's really all for this room. So this here is my main desk, and it's in another room in my house here. Uh, first we'll start with this upper shelf, which has a ton of pretty old technology on it, but the main thing I want to focus on is this 2006 iMac, which was featured in a pretty early video on my channel, and it is actually the current most viewed video on my channel. 
Uh, sadly, the motherboard has failed, and it really has just a display purpose now on this shelf. On my desk, I have to the left here my main computer, which is what I'm currently editing this video on. It's a 2021 M1-based iMac, and I absolutely love it. Uh, next to my iMac, I have this 25-inch Acer 1440p monitor. I use this monitor for many things. It can hook up to my iMac for a secondary display. It can be used with my Nintendo Switch. It can be used with my Xbox Series S and I can hook it into my gaming PC when I want to use it with my PC. That's a pretty good segue into my main gaming PC, which is admittedly pretty old now. It's a Ryzen 7 1700X base system with a GTX 1060 6GB graphics card, and it still plays most games at 1080p. On my desk, behind my monitor, I have my Xbox Series S, which is a terrific console for the money, and I also have my Nintendo Switch, which I did a video on recently. So that's really all there is right now of my computer collection. Machines come and go pretty quickly, so if you like this video format, I'll definitely make an update in the future. Before I go, I'd like to once again thank you all for sticking around this long and watching my videos. It really does drive me to make more content. If you have any questions related to my videos, the computers featured in this video, or about me personally, please do leave a comment. But as always, be sure to leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe. And thank you all for watching.